Hi guys, it's Danny. Already a few months ago, we tried to promote some new growth on this Kalia orchid from a sort of a division. The reason was that this Kalia had one direction of growth, although it had multiple pseudobulbs. So we tried to make it bushier. If you missed that video and how we did things, you can check it out right here. You can visit the info card and just watch that video at any time. So here's an update. This orchid used to be the same rhizome and this is the division we made. It created a new growth of its own and it's creating new roots again of its own. These back bulbs didn't really have too many good roots because they were very very old and in time Kalia orchids tend to lose their roots and practically the older pseudobulbs just become a little bit useless. But this is a good way to invigorate them and at the time we actually made the division inside the pot. We did not repot the orchid in any way, but due to circumstances I had to unpot all of my orchids. So you can definitely do this while the orchid is constantly in the pot. So what you'll end up with is an orchid that has multiple directions of growth. This was actually my goal because only one side of the orchid was producing flowers and new growths and one side was doing nothing. So when I divided this orchid, the back bulbs actually started to shrivel a little bit. But once the new growth started to grow roots, everything turned back to normal and the older pseudobulbs plumped back up, everything is looking quite nice. Now the new growth is actually tinier than the previous growths. Now this is to be expected if your back division is pretty pretty old. In my case it was coupled with the fact that I had to unpot all of my orchids and force them to uh, get adjusted to some water culture. But anyway, it is to be expected that the new growth um, should be a little bit smaller than the previous growths. It doesn't always happen, but don't worry if this happens. The next growths will become larger and larger. Now this orchid is now ready to be shared because that's what I actually want to do. I want to keep this division for myself and share this division with a friend. So now I'll show you another orchid which I want to try the same procedure on. So here is my Kalia jungle eyes. I'm taking this opportunity to actually show you the little butt that is cracking up right now. It's so pretty. Anyway, so here's the problem with these types of orchids, Kalias in particular. You see the rhizome? It is super long, but this orchid only has one direction of growth, meaning it will only produce new pseudobulbs here, at this tip. And new pseudobulbs create blooms, and everything else will just be there for the core. Now, if we make a division, or two actually, from this orchid, we can actually try to induce multiple growths growing and actually make ourselves a bushier plant. So, before you actually consider doing this, make sure your orchid is indeed quite large. Maintain the rule of at least three pseudobulbs per division, even if you don't repot the orchid. It's important that you have at least three pseudobulbs, so the new growth just grows faster for you. Also, make sure you have a healthy orchid. Don't do this on sick orchids, because the older pseudobulbs do provide that extra energy you need for the orchid to bounce back, create new growth and roots, and when it becomes healthy, you can go ahead and try to make this procedure, but do make sure your orchid is quite, quite healthy before you do this. Otherwise, you'll fail and you can actually kill the orchid. And as I was saying, you don't actually need to unpot the orchid to do this. All you need to do is cut the rhizome. If you check the video in the info card, you'll actually see what I mean. So it is not very hassling and yeah, I think most orchids will react well if they have enough energy and enough pseudobulbs and you're gonna have yourself a bushier orchid in case your Cattleya or even an Oncidium just doesn't want to grow multiple growths and it just looks unsightly. As long as you keep in mind that the orchid needs to be healthy, you're good to experiment. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it. I cannot wait to make a video on the jungle eyes when it's fully open. She's looking quite spectacular already and as I was suspecting, it's that type of orangish color, it's not the yellow color, which I absolutely love. I do like orange more than yellow and I'm sorry for the shakiness. We'll see this one in a different video, don't worry. So thank you for watching, if you'd like to see more videos from me, simply subscribe to my channel, I post on a regular basis. Also feel free to leave me comments, suggestions or questions you might have in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to workinnature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Have a great day and see you next time, bye!